Today, we are diving into a story that merges friendship, politics, and loyalty at the heart of South Africa's current political landscape. Floyd Chivambo, now Secretary General of the MK Party, recently made a heartfelt statement that shed light on his enduring friendship with Dr. Maisen in Lozi. This message, posted on social media, has not only sparked discussions about their relationship but has also brought attention to the dynamics that drive their alliance. In a tweet, Shivambu referred to Nlozi as his brother in a bond that goes beyond politics, and it's clear that this relationship is both long-lasting and deeply rooted in their shared experiences and ideals. We'll look at what this connection means in the context of their political roles, how it's being perceived by the public, and what it reveals about their influence on South Africa's political scene. For those unfamiliar, Shivambo and Nlozi are two highly recognizable names in South African politics. Their journey together began over 20 years ago during their university days, where they joined forces as student activists. Their time in student movements laid the foundation for their political careers, united by their dedication to fighting economic inequality and pushing for social reforms. Over the years, this shared vision brought them both into the Economic Freedom Fighters, or EFF, a party that emphasizes social justice, economic transformation, and empowerment for the marginalized. Shivambu and Lozi worked together within the EFF, building a formidable partnership based on mutual respect and loyalty. Even as Shivambu recently transitioned to a leadership role in the MK party, his tweet confirmed that his bond with Nlozi has not wavered, underscoring that their connection runs much deeper than mere political affiliations. Shivambu's post stirred up reactions across social media. One follower responded, Floyd Shivambu has finally revealed his true identity, a comment that highlights how personal relationships in politics can be viewed with mixed interpretations. For some, Shivambu's words are a reminder that authentic connections can transcend political party boundaries, particularly in the often divisive world of South African politics. On the other hand, some see his statement as an indication that Shivambu places his personal relationships on an equal, if not higher, level than his party allegiances. This perception can be both an asset and a potential point of controversy for any political figure. In a sphere where alliances can shift dramatically, the public is interested in leaders who show loyalty to the people who have supported them through various challenges. What stands out about Shivambu's message is how it highlights the importance of unity among leaders who, despite taking different paths, still share a common goal for South Africa's future. Political allies often face scrutiny when their paths diverge, but Shivambu's open show of respect for Nlozi challenges the notion that differences in political affiliation must create personal rifts. This is especially notable considering Shivambu's recent move from the EFF to the MK party, a shift that might suggest a difference in ideology or strategy. However, this public affirmation of brotherhood illustrates that shared values, rather than party alignment alone, can keep bonds intact. Historically, the friendship between Shivambu and Lozi has influenced their political work and the wider public's perception of them. Together, they've often been vocal about issues such as economic disparity, education reform, and anti-colonialism, forming a partnership that's based on advocacy for meaningful change. They've consistently used their platforms to highlight issues affecting ordinary South Africans, creating a public image that resonates with those who seek leaders committed to progress. As key figures within the EFF, they advocated for policies that aimed to redistribute economic power and challenge inequalities, gaining supporters who value their outspokenness and willingness to confront the status quo. Although Shivambu's move to the MK party signals a new chapter in his political journey, his relationship with Nlozi remains a testament to their shared history and unwavering belief in their vision for South Africa. This dynamic between Shivambu and Nlozi has implications that reach beyond their personal connection. Political relationships that withstand ideological or organizational shifts are rare and valuable, as they remind supporters that genuine alliances can transcend party lines. 
This idea resonates particularly in a climate where political loyalty is often perceived as fluid and conditional. For Shivambu, emphasizing his bond with Nlozi helps reinforce his image as a leader who values integrity and consistency. His supporters may see this as proof that he remains committed to the core principles they admired about him during his time in the EFF, even as he steps into his role with the MK party. For Nlozi, Shivambu's words reaffirm his influence and importance within his circle, positioning him as a respected figure whose friendship is valued despite changes in their political roles. Looking forward, Shivambu's new role in the MK party brings both challenges and opportunities, especially as he strives to balance his responsibilities with maintaining important relationships. As Secretary-General, Shivambu will be tasked with shaping the MK party's agenda and expanding its presence, particularly in KwaZulu-Natal, where the party holds considerable sway. Shivambu has expressed a strong desire to connect with communities and prioritize the fight for economic and social emancipation, aligning with his lifelong mission of advocating for marginalized communities. In many ways, his journey to this leadership role signifies a continuation of the work he began alongside Nlozi, albeit from a different platform. As Shivambu begins this new chapter, the public's interest in his relationship with Nlozi underscores the importance of unity in a time of political change. Their friendship can serve as a source of stability and inspiration, reminding both leaders and supporters that shared goals can transcend individual career shifts. In a broader sense, it raises questions about how personal connections among political figures might influence the country's political dynamics. If leaders can maintain meaningful alliances despite party differences, it could pave the way for greater collaboration on issues that impact South Africans across all demographics. In conclusion, Floyd Shivambu's recent statement about his friendship with Mbaiseni Nlozi offers us a glimpse into the personal bonds that influence South Africa's political landscape. It's a reminder that relationships forged through shared values and history can withstand even significant professional changes. Shivambu's commitment to maintaining this bond reveals his dedication to a broader vision that prioritizes unity and shared goals. As he embarks on his role with the MK party, we'll be watching to see how this friendship might impact the future of South African politics. Will this bond inspire new alliances or collaborations? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, Shivambu and Lose's friendship is a powerful example of loyalty and mutual respect in a world where politics often divides. If you enjoyed this discussion, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insights into South Africa's political scene.